Spinning leg lock. You can tell the vengeance is coming out. Here comes the first family down. Hart saying, no, 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 watch my leg. The crowd loving it. As Hart holding his leg. So the leader of the pack, the head of the first family, being carried by Chick Donovan. Yeah, well, that was the scene as it took place, and uh, <clears throat> quite a scene it was. That was exactly Lawler's dream match. He wanted to get Hart where well, the first family could not interfere, where he had a lumberjack that so would not let him get out of the ring. Uh, he was successful in getting him in that type of a match, and uh, the result, well, you've seen it. And so um, Jimmy Hart ended up with a broken leg. Let's hear the comments that Hart had to make. I love it. Thank you, but I ain't going to be able to wear it to get through, but I love the color and everything. When is Chick and Wayne and the they Nightmares come, coming back? Come up, okay, up. okay, that's oh, fine. Can you raise my back sure, a little baby. bit right now? Oh, God, not so, not so fast. Please, please, the foot, the foot, that's a foot button, the foot button, the foot, the foot button. What do you want to raise? The foot of the head. Oh. The foot, look, Kevin, my leg is broke. You're killing me. You you are absolutely killing me right now. I'm telling you. Okay, okay. Please, just stop. Just stop, please. Okay, okay. I'm, I'm sorry. I'm snappy. I'm sorry. Please, please. Hey, they can't, uh, uh, the okay. camera's not looking at no, my gown, no. is it? No. Come on, put down here. First of all, you told them we don't anybody know where we are, right? Well, they understood. Did, did, hey, before we go any further, you know, no one's supposed to know where we are, right? Correct? All right. Okay, if you raise it down one more time, but please do the right, the button on the right. Down or up? Yeah, but. Okay, okay. Are you ready? Wait a second, wait a second. Wait just a minute. Who is, get, oh, just, where's, where's my glasses? They're over glasses. there, Jimmy. Let I'm me get rid of this. On them. No, they're over there in the thing. Let me get rid of this. Okay. I'll That's get these out of your way, okay? Right here. I don't good. want those stupid letters anyhow. Okay, okay, okay. 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 Wait a minute, wait a minute. Here's my here. I'll, I'll move, I'll move my present, okay? All right, everybody wants to know the condition of Jimmy Hart and the condition of the first family. Well, let me tell you something right now. Don't you worry about Jimmy Hart's condition or the first family's condition. You people of Memphis, you better worry about your condition right now because let me tell you something, man. You are very sick. You all need help so bad. I need to try to bring in about 50 psychiatrists to help you out because, buddy, you are in trouble. I've lived in Memphis all of my life, and I've never seen the worst taste of sportsmanlike conduct in my life from you people out there. I climbed in the ring, a Christian athlete all of my life, Memphis born and Memphis bred, an athlete, high school athlete. I have done everything for Memphis, Tennessee to put it on the map that I could possibly do. Cut million seller records, everything. Climbed to the top of the ladder in professional wrestling. I brought you in the best talent that has ever been in this territory. And I crawled in that ring Monday night with Jerry Lawler. And he used a chain on me and he yeah. used salt on me. He used everything humanly imaginable. And you people were laughing and cheering. When he came off that top rope, which is illegal, you people went crazy. If he'd have had a gun, let me tell you something. If he'd have had a gun and blown my head off, these people would have gone crazy, Jimmy, Kevin. If he had an axe and said, let me cut off his head, they would have said yes. You know why? Because it's like I've told you before. All these Southerners, it isn't just Memphis. It's all the Southerners are sick, Jimmy. This is what's wrong with society today. They are sick. This is a real sick society. You could see it on their faces. There's faces that looked exactly like Kern's face, looked like Lawless' face. They're all sick. And, Jimmy, as you know, the only thing sane in this world today is the family. We're the only guiding light left. We're the only thing sane. You look at the rest of society. Like you said, they were yelling at you everything, Jimmy. And that was your hometown. Can you imagine how it is for outsiders? They're just sick. But don't worry. The family will be taken care of. You're still the brains. We all know that. And tell those people what the condition of the family will continue. There I isn't... love you. I love you, baby. Let I'm me just say something right now, Jerry Lawler. I hate you, brother. And if I have to gain weight, if I have to gain 45 more pounds to weigh 200 pounds and come in the ring to get you, I promise I'll do it. So you want to know the condition of Jimmy Hart? Hey, 
I've never had a broken leg before, so I don't know how long I'm going to be out. But let me tell you something, Lawler. Sure, you kick mine, you know what. Hey, what and you broke... Jimmy, Jimmy, never, ever say that, baby. Never say that. He didn't do it. You look at that Kern. What did Kern do? When you were managing the match with Chick, he went down there and snatched you up, picked you up, and drove you on his knee. Oh, he's a big, tough, strong guy. Drove you on his knee. That's when you probably get the fracture. Then, with that great fighting heart, that heart that very few people have, you crawled in the ring against Jerry Lawler when he had his four henchmen around the ring. And if they want to play back the tape, they can see all five of them punching and kicking at that leg, which was probably fractured at the time. And then Jerry Calhoun came in and said, do you want to stop the match? And Jerry Lawler said, let it continue. The promotion was part of this conspiracy. The whole thing was to get rid of the first family. Because, Jimmy, I felt like a trapped dog trying to get through that fence when I saw it was happening to you. You know what? Eddie Mullen came up to me and said, he said, take one step out of here and you're suspended for a year. That was the whole thing to get rid of the first family. But let me tell you something, Jerry Lawler and Steve Curran. You listen to me right now. We have a plan. Don't you? Okay, that's it. Cut that. Get cut an interview. Get Let's get out of here. Yeah, that was it. So that's the uh, condition of Jimmy Hart and the first family. We thought you'd be interested in that report. We've got big action coming up with the Golden Boy against Coco Ware. We'll get to that in just a moment. Action! Right back here on Wave Country's Channel 3 Championship Wrestling. Want to tell you about next Tuesday night down the Louisville Gardens. We're going to give you some other towns in just a moment, and we will be going over the entire card for you, too. But I do want to mention a big 12-man tag match that'll be coming up, a single match that'll be of particular interest when Big Sonny King goes against Golden Boy Chick Donovan. And listen to this. <laughs> AWA Southern Tag Titles at stake, Kevin Sullivan, Wayne Ferris, going against Steve Kern and Dutch Mantell as Mantell and Kern try to take those titles away. And then, mask against mask. You hear it. The Nightmares in a no-time, no-disqualification against the superstar in the dream with mask at stake in there. You know, Lance, I've always said that I hated the South, and nothing could epitomize the South worse than Louisville, Kentucky. You see how those people dress? I don't want to hold that sun belt. That's a piece of trash. You know what? Nothing could epitomize the South more. Have you seen how those people dress? They dress the same way Bill Dundee, Jerry Lawler, the King... Steve Kern, all those idiots, they're not... Look at his face, look at that face! Checky boy, get your face in here! Look, them. this is Robert Redford and Paul Newman, that's why they hide it. We're the best-looking thing in the world today, and let me tell you one thing, we are going to hold on to those belts, because I will never lose in Louisville, because I wouldn't give the satisfaction of all those rebels saying, well, a Yankee finally got beaten. Wayne, tell him what the North did to the South. Tell him. He's from the North. <laughs> oh, yeah. Like Sherman's march to the sea. You know, he comes through Mississippi. He comes through Tennessee. He burned everything. And we're going to burn you Dutch Mantell and Steve Kern because you're going to never wear these belts. They belong to us. And the nightmares, they're going to eat you up, Dream. They're going to show that ugly face of yours because we don't want the people out there to see Robert Redford and Paul Newman. <laughs> Tuesday night, you'll have a chance to see all of this come true at the Louisville Garden. All righty, referee Jerry Calhoun comes out. We're awaiting the two participants in our first live action right here in Championship Wrestling. Should be a dandy, too, Davey. How about the official introduction? It's one fall, 15-minute time limit match on the right of your screen from Union City, Tennessee at 221 pounds, Coco Ware. And going against him from Hollywood, California, 228 pounds, Golden Boy Chick Donovan. One fall, 15-minute time limit, Jerry Calhoun, the referee. I saw these two guys tangling a, in a match earlier, and I got to tell you, boy, what a sensational match it was. Uh, with all of the things you say what you want, this Donovan is quite an athlete, and I don't have to tell anybody what kind of an athlete uh, Coco is. Missed us going behind and taking him down. Donovan spun out of it, Davey. Well, Donovan doing some fine moves uh, as far as their athletic ability is concerned in previous matches. Coco wrapping up. Had a left arm, put a little twist on it, into the ropes. Kick Donovan. Coco! And over down to the mat.
Coco Ware, former TV champion, as a matter of fact. He's in the side headlock, put there by Chick Donovan. Donovan spins out, takes the arm up behind Coco's back. Coco spins, reverses. Donovan to the rope, puts a foot outside. Hey, I don't wish anybody any bad luck, but isn't it nice not to have a heart running his mouth off down there and telling you everything that's happening and making excuses right here at the ring? Noticeably quieter in front of the table today. You're right. Chick Donovan, of course, uh, is the newest family member. Recruited by Jimmy Hart recently. Coco with a headlock. We're going to be seeing uh, Donovan uh, a little bit later on, as a matter of fact, uh, in a match that he had with Steve Kern. It was a dandy. 